In 1875, when a young girl by the name of Leonie Martin turned 12, she felt the need to give away her doll dressmaking kit, since she had outgrown her habit of playing with dolls, and offered it to her six-year-old sister, Celine, and her two-year-old sister, Therese. Celine took a little ball of yarn that she liked. Therese simply said, J'ai choisi tout. I want it all and unceremoniously hastened off with the whole basket. Little did that two-year-old girl know, who would later be known as Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, that her attitude would reflect that of our Lord's in today's Gospel reading. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. In today's Gospel for Monday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, we find our Lord in the temple area surveying those who deposited their offerings into the treasury. Then a poor widow caught his eye. She approached the coffers and dropped in two small coins, considerably less than what the others had given. But much to the surprise of those gathered around him, Jesus said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. To some, this didn't make any sense. How could her two coins that equaled a penny possibly be of more value than the large sums deposited by the others? And so to clarify himself, Jesus explained, for those others, have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has offered her whole livelihood. What pleases God is not whether we have a lot or a little, but that we give him everything. Like the two-year-old Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, the Lord wants everything. Je choisi tout. And though the poor widow's offering didn't have much monetary value, it was everything. And today, memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we honor the one who, in giving herself entirely to God, gave him everything. In comparison to her, it seems that anything and everything we could possibly deposit in the heavenly treasury is worthless. That's why our offerings will be most pleasing to Him if we make them through His mother. In the words of St. Louis de Montfort, she embellishes our works in adorning them with her own merits and virtues. And he gives an example of a peasant who wishing to gain the friendship and benevolence of the king, went to the queen mother and presented her with a fruit, which was his whole revenue in order that she might present it to the king. The queen, having accepted the poor little offering from the peasant, washed and polished the fruit and placing it on a large, beautiful platter of gold, presented it to the king on the peasant's behalf, thus delighting the king and favoring the peasant. And so may we also give our two cents worth of our time and effort, as long as it's everything we've got and give it to Mary to present to her divine Son. In doing so, may we, like the widow in today's Gospel, merit the glory of being praised by the Incarnate Word for giving all that we have. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.